definitely. Now I seen on your Instagram last question that um, it says name five people that you could fight, like dream fight. Yeah. You said Lomachenko, 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 and you tagged him. Lomachenko, Lomachenko, two more like Lomachenko. Dylan, Dylan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Why you want to fight him? Because everybody think he the boogeyman or something. Like they all scared of him. Listen, you ain't? Where, I'm, where I'm from, the bullies get bullied. Period. So you know what I'm saying? Listen, I'll fight Lomachenko. Lomachenko wants to come back. Who will he fight? You know, let's talk about that in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Now, boxing quick hits. I gave you a brief synopsis of what's going on. Wanted to make a longer video. So, Yahoo Sports reports per Todd DeBuff, who's one of the execs with Top Rank, Vasil Lomachenko has contacted Top Rank, the company, and wants to fight as soon as October. He's been participating in a war defending his native Ukraine against the Russian invasion. No opponents have been discussed at this point. So just like Usyk, he left the war in that situation to fight Anthony Joshua and he will be fighting him in a rematch in Saudi Arabia. Apparently Lomachenko is, you know, on the same vibes. Like I'm not getting any younger. Let's get this show on the road. And he wants to come back now interesting times i think there's some good fights for lomachenko but the biggest thing is which ones are realistic because for one let me start off with devin haney i definitely want to see the fight but i wanted to see the fight when devin haney was roughly 20 years old calling out lomachenko and just like errol spence says tables turn and it is so funny to see how life and everything works out and Devin Haney, he did, he was the model citizen. And there's people like Devin Haney, as well as Clarissa Shields, two black American champions. And you got to respect what they're doing. Clarissa Shields is going to the UK to fight a girl who beat her in the amateurs, but she's since proven herself in multiple divisions, undisputed. She's the quote. But that's still a lot of pressure fighting on enemy territory. And fighting a girl who, you know, whose claim to fame is basically I beat you and she has power. So it shows you that Clarissa Shields is ducking nothing. You know, she's kicking butt and taking names, even tested her hand at MMA. Respectable stuff. Same thing with Devin Haney. Devin Haney. Some people were really concerned that he did this fight with top rank in ESPN, which forced him to leave his existing situation with Eddie Hearn and DAZN. And some people were worried because they didn't know if Devin Haney would be able to stop George Cambosos Jr., which he didn't, and he didn't drop him. And they were wondering if his power was maybe too limited to get that stoppage. And if that is the case, would he be able to box effectively enough in order to win in a hostile environment with 40,000 Aussies screaming and cheering every time George Cambosos Jr. has a moment. And Devin Haney fought a very, very disciplined fight and he looked sharp and he didn't leave anything to the imagination. And from really the early rounds, he took the sails out of the, the crowd ship and the crowd was just, it was just 40,000. It was like a giant library. And it was 40,000 quiet people, which, you know, it would have been a raucous crowd if Devin Haney got dropped or there was like these scintillating shots from George Cambosos. But Cambosos really couldn't become effective and get anything off. Fast forward to the future. I just want to always take the time on my channel to celebrate the people who in boxing, I believe, are doing it right. That's an example of it. Devin Haney and Clarissa Shields, although there's a lot more. But Devin Haney, he's the man now. He's undisputed. He's has all the belts. And the tables have turned immensely, even for Vasil Lomachenko, because you, you got to be careful. And I believe in karma and I believe in the universe and energy and good juju. And that's how you have to be careful. You have to be careful how you even treat people. Like, let's just say you're at a position in life where you're up. And then you treat somebody else like, let's say, a bus boy at a restaurant or security and you treat them bad. And all of a sudden life happens like life inevitably will happen. And then you're down and they're up. And then people remember that. 
I actually watched something similar to this where Chris Rock was talking to Howard Stern and he said there's a guy that used to bully him at his school. So this is before the stand up comedy, the movies and, you know, the writing credits and the TV show and all that. And Chris Rock said the guy would literally like hang him upside down and like shake the change out of his pocket and bully him. And he said he was working on a movie where he was like the director and he was acting in the movie. And he said they seen the guy work in security and the guy looked embarrassed. And he, he basically said he didn't. He said, what's up? How you been? And he said he kept it short and simple because the fact that you have to watch Chris Rock in his element and he's been famous and you try to bully him later in life and you're working security, that's punishment enough because you got to watch somebody else's success. You got to work security for his event. And I thought that was a crazy story. You guys can find that on the Internet and watch it. It was on Instagram. I've seen it. So in the same fashion in boxing, tables turn. Guys like Errol Spence, when he was coming up, people were fronting on him, like Keith Thurman. And, you know, people were saying, oh, he got to fight someone, get a belt. And they did the same thing with Devin Haney. Devin Haney, they say, oh, he's too young. Oh, he's not ready. Oh, he can't beat Lomachenko. Lomachenko became the franchise champion, witness protection belt. And they allowed these things. And they never gave Devin Haney the opportunity. Devin Haney being youthful and not to be discouraged, he stayed on his purpose and he stayed on his mission. Fast forward to the future. Now Lomachenko is talking about he wants to come back for a fight in October. And Devin Haney has all the belts in his division. And he's doing a rematch with Camboso. So I don't know the likelihood that that fight will happen. And if Devin Haney fights Cambosos again, and this is why I want to do an additional video to give you guys more detail. If Devin Haney beats Cambosos again, then that really solidifies him because Cambosos swears he's going to make all these adjustments and he knows how to be. He said that I know how to beat Devin Haney now, etc. So with that being said, the pressure is on Cambosos. But if Devin Haney comes through again or beats him worse or drops him or, you know, makes it look even sharper, then Devin Haney solidifies his position. And it's already he's already solidified because you can no longer call him the email champion and, you know, the got his belt in Gmail and all this other goofy stuff that y'all was talking about. But you have to really respect him. And then that includes Lomachenko. I know old media wants to praise his gold medals and the, the amateurs. I know they want to praise his, he got like 16 fights and two losses. I know they want to praise his movement and all this stuff, but boxing is a what have you done for me lately sport. And the, the bottom line is Devin Haney's the man and undisputed with all the belts and has a chance to keep the belts by beating George Cambosos again. So I don't really think it's logical for Lomachenko to come back and fight Devin Haney just so soon, but hopefully they do fight because I've been wanting to see the fight and I think it's a great fight. Now, if Devin Haney keeps his belts, it'll be for all the marbles. And lastly, I got to say that this is what constantly happens and you often see it with black fighters in the sport of boxing. Well, old media will play all these games and say, oh, Devin's not ready and support the franchise champion program with the WBC and they do all these gimmicks and charades and then they look dumb in the end because you said he was the email champ you berated him and he still came through and he's now the undisputed champ with all the belts in the division and you got to come see him that's how it works so all that other foolishness that you supported and, and what old media was saying didn't really live up to anything and we get to see people are saying oh he can't beat Lomachenko but says who you know he beat george cambosos and some people didn't think he was going to beat him he beat joseph jojo diaz and jorge lenadas and he's undefeated so you never know until you actually see it and that's what i'm all about lsi let's see it now lomachenko coming back you know i think it's is a great fight for him is gervonta davis but same thing different political like affiliations it's like democrats and republicans you got two different networks and then you got Tank being the A side. I just really don't know if that fight can happen. I mean, excuse me for being pessimistic in this situation. So 
I think it's a great fight, and I don't think it's going to be what some people think. I've seen a lot of old media saying Tank don't have a shot and this and that. You got to show me that because Lomachenko, he, he does that ambush style, jump in and jump out, and you jump in the tank, you might get rocked. Like It's kind of what happened with Roley. Just a split-second mistake, and Tank was right there to counter, and then it was, it was a knockout. And I'm not comparing the styles of Roley to Lomachenko, but it's just to illustrate and magnify the effect of making one mistake and having someone so powerful and so explosive that they can capitalize on it. So it doesn't matter if it's Lomachenko or not. If you make one mistake with Tank and guys like Wilder and guys like that, you know, it could be lights out. So let me know what you guys want to see next from Lomachenko. These are just some previews and, and further thoughts on the conversation. I unfortunately feel it'll be more like a tune-up fight. They'll just look at the top 10 rankings and, and fight another Richard Comey style of person. But hopefully it is a bigger fight. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. SLC, subscribe, like, and comment. And I'm up. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.